In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be going over the if else statement. The if else statement is a logical statement to determine a set of commands to perform. It uses a Boolean value to make the decision. The commands within the if scope are performed if the Boolean value is true. The commands within the else scope are performed if the Boolean value is false. So let's take a look at the syntax of an if else statement. If the value is true, then perform the statement within the curly braces or the if scope. If the value is false, then perform the statement within the else scope. If else statements are the backbone of control flow within C Sharp applications. You will find yourself using the if else statement more than any other control flow mechanism. So here within my program class file, let's go ahead and do some if else statements. Let's start off inside of the main method here of our program class. And we're gonna start off with just a simple little if statement. We'll do if, and then inside of parentheses, you wanna have some sort of condition. Now right now, we're just gonna use the condition of true. Then we're gonna add some curly braces to our if statement. And now anything that gets put inside of these curly braces will be performed if the condition is true. So let's do console.write line. We'll type the condition is true. And then we'll end that and do a console.read line. And now we can go ahead and save and run this. We can see that since the condition is true, it went ahead and wrote to the console window that the condition is true. But what happens if the condition is false? Let's go ahead and change this from true to false and run the application again. In case you didn't catch that, the console window just opened and closed and nothing was written to the console window and there was nothing to read. So the console.write line and the console.read line did not get triggered. So let's add an else statement so that we can catch it if the condition is false. So we'll do after the if scope, we're gonna do else and then add our curly braces. And now let's do something here within the else scope in case the condition is false. We'll do console.write line dot the condition is false. And then once again, console.readline. Let's go ahead and save and run the application. We can see that since the condition was false, it went ahead and ran what was inside of the else scope. So we got written to the console window, the condition is false. Instead of actually using the statement false or true, we can go ahead and set a variable here. We'll do a boolean and we'll call it condition. We'll set its initial value to true and then replace our condition inside of the if statement with the condition variable. And now let's go ahead and save and run the application. Here we can see that the condition is in fact true. And so the console.write line, the condition is true, is what was triggered. Now let's try using some relational operators. We don't need the condition Boolean anymore. Let's go ahead and delete that. And now we'll change the condition to say something like five equals five. Now let's see what happens. Once again, we can see that the condition is true. So what was inside of the if scope was ran. So what happens if the relational operator returns a false value? Let's change five equals five to five equals six and run our application again. As you can see, five obviously does not equal six, therefore it returns a false Boolean value and runs what's within the else scope. And we can do the same thing for the greater than or less than operators. Let's try five is less than six. That condition is true, and therefore the condition is true right line is what's written to the console window. The last one we'll test is the not equal relational operator. We'll change five does not equal six. This can throw a lot of people off. 
try to think about which one of these statements you think is going to run. Will it say that the condition is true or will it say that the condition is false? The relational operator of not equal returns a true Boolean value because five does not equal six. Since the condition was true, it went ahead and wrote out that the condition was true to the console window. From here, you should be able to start to see how the if else statement combined with relational operators is really the heart of what makes your C-sharp application run.